Hello, my name is Stan and today I would like to introduce you to Multilogin 3.0 RISE. This is a tremendous update on which we have been working a lot, very hard and I'm very proud to present you this update in this video. Now, before we start, I would like to point out that this video is just a brief recap of the most awesome features we've implemented in 3.0, uh, more detailed description about each point that I say will be in separate videos in the description. Without further talk, let's get into it. The very first awesome feature which has been uh, implemented in 3.0 RISE version is the fingerprint builder. The fingerprint builder is essentially the new way of how fingerprints are created inside the browser profile. I will not go into much detail, but I would like to point out that is, it's a tremendous and amazing feature which will definitely improve the, the performance of your work. A more detailed description on how fingerprint builder works and how it can improve your performance can be found in the link in the description. The next big thing in Multilogin 3.0 is the updated core versions. Mimic is now based on Chromium 67 and Stealthfox is based on Firefox 58. It's also in a tremendous update and a feature that will definitely improve the performance of your work. As a result, we have also completely redone how browser profiles are now closed. From, from this point on, you can close browser profile with an X button. So if you click on the X button, the browser profile will automatically close and save the data in an encrypted form on our servers. However, we've also didn't remove the extension button which, what, which was used previously for closing. It's still there, however, it now offers two options, close browser profile and save, close browser without saving. This essentially will give you uh, additional control of how you save the browser profile. And for, if for some reason you don't want to save the, da the, the data, you can always close uh, without saving. But closing browser and save will essentially do the same process uh, as by clicking on the X button. To learn more about different browser behavior, uh, you can also click click uh, on the links in the description where we specifically talk about Stealthfox and Mimic browsers. Okay, so far so good, awesome updates. Additionally, uh, in 3.0 uh, RISE version, you are no longer able to launch Chromium and Firefox uh, browser profiles. This is because uh, they are no longer compatible with the new browser drivers and you can learn more about why it cannot be done in the link in the description. Finally, the users who update to 3.0 will see, uh, who will update to 3.0 and navigate to their browser profile list will see the update button instead, instead of the start one. And if you click on it, it will essentially tell you that this function will update the browser, prof the browser profile fingerprint. Uh, this is necessary for, the, uh, for, for your old profiles to work on new uh, browser engines. Now, you're probably asking me, Stan, why should I update my fingerprint? Well, actually, uh, there is a big benefit for it and certain precautions you need to make. Again, in order to learn why this is needed and how to do it and what are the benefits and precautions, please watch the video in the description which, which is specifically made for this update function. By the way, this is one of the reasons why we are releasing Multilogin 3.0 uh, RISE as a portable version, so that you're able to run an older version like 2.3.2 with 3.0 in parallel, so that you can launch uh, your old browser profiles without updating and create new browser profiles on 3.0. All in all, these are the five most crucial things in 3.0 that I really wanted to present you on the video. However, a lot of bugs and a lot of small features has been also implemented in, implemented in 3.0 and you can, you can see the full list in our release notes, also linked in the description. And I guess that's it. 
Thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!